We now know who will replace Dr. Diana Green on an interim basis after Green retires as Duval County Superintendent this summer. It's Dr. Dana Krisnar. She's been with the district 37 years, rising from a middle school math teacher to deputy superintendent. Dr. Diana Green is retiring three years early as an outside law firm investigates allegations of abuse at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts and looking into how the district reports misconduct. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell was at the meeting today as the decision uh, was made by the boards. Ann? Kent, by the time the board members took their seats here this morning, they'd already had the chance to submit and review possible candidates for this interim superintendent job. They eventually settled on Dr. Krisner, voting to uh, appoint her there by a vote of five to two. After next week, Dr. Dana Krisner will be taking over as Duval County Schools superintendent, possibly until December. School board chair Dr. Kelly Coker said she's worked with Krisner for decades. She is uniquely qualified for this position. She has uh, been with our district throughout her career. Krisner joined the district as a math teacher in 1986. She was promoted to principal in 2001, became executive director of multiple pathways and support services in 2008, and then rose to district administration in 2013, serving as assistant superintendent, chief of staff, deputy superintendent, and soon interim superintendent. Krisner was the only internal candidate presented at a special board meeting Tuesday. Also considered were Wayne Ghent, the retired St. Lucie County Schools superintendent, Kevin Hyde, a local employment attorney who recently served as interim president at Florida State College at Jacksonville, and Dr. Matthew Olson, who is an associate professor of leadership at the University of North Florida. School board member Lori Hershey said to her, two of the candidates were non-starters. Uh, very concerned about the lack of uh, educational leadership. Some, like board member Warren Jones, spoke in support of Krisner. She's done a lot for this district. She cares about the district. She has that working knowledge. But board member Charlotte Joyce expressed she wanted to see an external candidate brought in for the role. If we do what we're can, we've been doing, we're just keeping the status quo over the next six months, and we're not really showing leadership to the community that we're willing to dive down and take a deep, hard look at some of these very systemic internal problems that we have had reporting. In the end, Krisner was approved by the board with just board members Joyce and April Carney voting no. Dr. Krisner will take over after Diana Green's last day on June 2nd. She will serve in the role for no longer than six months as the district conducts a national search for a permanent replacement. Live from the South Bank and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.